and position the device in front of the body. So, at that screen, there are two things it looks out for. The first is to match states of issuing them balance. <laughs> so the operator will then scan with national ID. Rejected. So in this case, there will be an error message that pops up. So this error message reads, voter not registered here. That's because we mentioned earlier that we have data for this particular demo. And in this case scenario, we are assuming that this data is for a district. So in this case, if a voter has, maybe their credentials are not in the data for that district, perhaps their polling station is another district. This is the error message that will pop up. And so in that case, they will go through either the voter locator or they can check the voter locator slip to identify where they are supposed to vote. No voting. No voting here. Uganda, I think even uh, Facebook was uh, was pulled down. So uh, we wanted the, the social media owners to appreciate this issue, so that they join us. We, the end users, the beneficiaries. We work with them to ensure that social media uh, is regulated in a manner that can that does not cause uh, chaos uh, in countries. I again told the communicators that it was important for the country to understand now uh, the kind of election we are going to organize, where we shall be using mandatory verification of voters during polling. No voter who is not positively verified using the biometric verification system will be allowed to vote. Therefore, the Commission has already procured over 109,000 verification tablets which will be used on polling day. Each polling station will be issued with two 